Oh, hey! How are you guys? <laughs> we found it. Yeah. Come in. Is that a fun ride. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh my wow. gosh. You tell them who's boss. <laughs> they meet for the first time. <laughs> I had to get pictures of Daisy from the car. Was... Daisy. Daisy. It's Mr. Crispy. Hi, Daisy. It's okay. He's one of your biggest fans. He smells like a reseller, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. You're in now. What do you smell on there? You're in now. You're official. Oh. All right, I am here with Mr. Crispy from Crispy's Toys and Treasures. Good old Chris. What's going on, Chris? Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, we are going out. Where? Where are we going? We're taking a little road trip? I think we're going to go check out a hoarder's house. We are. It's um, Antiques from Karen is the name of the YouTube channel, and her name is Jan. Many of you know her, and she inherited a hoarder's house. Uh, that's literally how she describes it on her YouTube channel, which I'm going to link to down below, so you should definitely go check it out. So we've got about, what, a 90-minute drive ahead of us? Yeah. We're going to head yep. on Interstate 90? Yep. 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 And uh, I'm, you know, I'm humbled to say, Chris... I just realized now, this is my Mountain Dew. Bring yours up. What's going on here? Chris is already showing me up in my own video. His Dew is bigger than mine. What's going on with that? That's my traditional get, road trip get, bottle. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to hit the road and head over to Jan's. Oh, oh hey. How are you guys? We found it. How are you? Guys, we are I'm so excited. excited that you're yeah, we are pumped up. Come in. We had a fun ride. Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh, my wow. gosh. I don't call myself a reseller. Okay. I call myself a seller. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't ask for this. I didn't right. go source this. <laughs> so we were actually talking about this on the way up. Were you reselling before no. you got this? This is what got you into it. Uh, this is. Uh, okay. I have to liquidate this into right. cash. This is my right. inheritance. Okay. Okay. So this is the big thing. So, wow. you know, I've been at it for four years. Four years. Uh, yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah, dude, you have no idea. How big is the house? So it's not just the house. Okay. So there were three full storage units. Oh, my God. 10 by 16 by 30. Those are gone. Those have been okay. emptied. Okay. This place, it was floor to ceiling, every room. Wow. Like a path that was like shaped like a V. Okay. And the papers were two feet high. Oh my goodness. So when you were walking, you were supporting yourself right. on the ceiling. Right. There's also two truck bodies out okay. back that are full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the yard was full. All right. So there's an upstairs. Is there a basement too? Oh yeah. Oh, I love basements. Oh, wow. There's all cookbooks. And kitchenware in here. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And then we've got the upstairs and then we've got the downstairs. Hmm. Where do you want to go first, Chris? Uh, upstairs or downstairs? Let's go upstairs first. Upstairs. All no. right. Yeah, let's go upstairs first. All right. I'll lead the way. All right. Yeah, we've got some horses here. Nice, cool painting. Nice, narrow stairs. Go up. Wow, there's stuff everywhere. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, look at this. Some alligator. I love alligator items. So this one is really neat. Wow, that's cool. All right, what else we got here? All right, here's the upstairs. Oh, it's a nice little room in here filled with all sorts of stuff. I'll let Chris get up here. Got just all sorts of random tchotchkes and stuff. And then we've yeah. got this room here. Okay. Well, look at that. We've got a mannequin in here, Chris. You need a mannequin? Is there a mannequin in there? Yeah. Chris! <laughs> Chris! That's got a pretty hat on Take it, too. Take me home with you, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Mrs. Crispy! <laughs> so badly! <laughs> Oh, wow. Still keeps going. 
I thought it was just going to be like another room and that was it, but nope. it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Whoa, look at Chris, you like this room, right? I like all the toys I'm seeing. <laughs> That's a lot of toys in there. Oh my gosh. Wow. It really goes. There's so much stuff. So these, Chris, um, like I said, on Sundays I go live. Yeah. And my people were helping me comp all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's cool. That's what we were doing. Oh, wow. Well, these are cool. Yeah, Chris likes that stuff for sure. I mean, there's just so much. There's like all these little hidden cubby holes and stuff, yeah. which... You never know, Jen. You might find another safe or something. There might be yeah. some. There might be some undiscovered things still. I haven't yet. Four years in. Never know. Rusty Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. There you go. Mister buys a lot. He loves Hot Wheels. Oh wow! Look at this. I turned on all the lights in here. There is a path where you can. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's easier. All right, we'll cut, we'll circle back in here later, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I might get caught up in the basement. Steps. Yeah, it's such a cool view on the way down. Originally, there was only uh, ten inches yeah. to walk up the stairs. Oh my! The whole thing was just a wall. Jeez. Wow. So, do you own the house? Yeah. I bought it for a dollar. You bought the house for a dollar? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. It's called a quit claim. Wow. You can quit quit claim. Careful uh, here, Chris. A family member. Huh. Oh, it's going to be hard for me to get down here, but. Oh, jeez. I'll make it. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hello, primetime treasure hunter. <laughs> <laughs> it says unknown, I'm not answering. Oh man, I see a Coca-Cola crate there. Yeah. Where's that right there? Okay. Wow. My gosh, there's so much stuff. Mm-hmm. Dolls for sale sign, that's cool. Got what? The dolls for sale. My mom actually made that. Really? That's yeah. Awesome. What's that, that cool? Chris? What'd you find? Sign back here that her mom made. Oh, well, let's see that. Dolls for sale. Can we get it out? That's beautiful. Oh, wow. That's amazing. It is um, really cool. I'm really one nice. of those really old chalkboards, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So as I was working in this area, um, this was all packed, you know, to the ceiling type of thing. And then I would always go outside to like you know just regroup and and things like that and i was wandering around outside and i looked under uh the stairs because the stairs had collapsed and there was a window and i'm like why is there a window there there's no window on this side of the house so then i came down here and i started moving that cabinet there's another room 10 by what? 10 room underneath oh. the porch oh my That's cool. gosh i haven't been in there yet <laughs> <laughs> there's stuff you haven't even still discovered. Wow. Oh, absolutely. There's tons this I haven't discovered. This house even has hidden rooms. Yes. And then there's... <laughs> That's fun, though. It goes it, under, the, yeah. under the stairs, and there was like a, you know, like a, a tool man's chest, a carpenter's chest, old carpenter's chest. Right. That was back there, and that was full of stuff. And oh, my. Yeah. Okay. All the wainscoting things that you see, my great-grandfather built all of that. Okay. Wow. There's two more root cellars on the side. I haven't been, I've been through this one. I haven't been through that one yet. Any shelf you see down here, I found that spot on the floor and I set up the shelf. Okay. It was just piles. This is incredible. I feel like I'm on an episode of American Pickers. So we were, <laughs> yeah. when she was alive, yeah. um, I actually contacted Hoarders. I was about to sign the contract and they were about to board planes and stuff and then the one of the producers said something that triggered me and I was just like, this doesn't sound like a good thing. This really sounds like, you know, my mom's going to be a, a circus feature yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, so I was yeah, like, you know what? Yeah. Never mind. Thank okay. you. Thank you, no. Okay. 
Um, so that was, but she was going to be the season finale. Oh, wow. So wow. this, this is, wow. this is four years in. Wow. Yeah. So now Chris has been very busy here. Uh, he, it was supposed to be opposite. I was supposed to get all this stuff, right? Yeah. And Chris was just supposed to come along for the ride. But Chris is actually loading up with more stuff that I'm even going to come close with out here today. But uh, now these you're not actually getting. Because Jen, you're going to hold on I'm to these. Gonna these, sell them. these were actually yours when you were younger. Yep, I'm going to sell those directly. Uh, look at this. Look at that vintage Exxon right there. So, wow. This is these yellow stickers are what you think that it should sell what for. What I should list yeah. it for. Or list it for. So yeah. uh, pay attention to Jan's store and follow her YouTube channel because you might see these mm -hmm. listed sometime soon, including these. And if you're interested, I'm sure you know you can yeah. reach out to her and we let spent, her know. Uh, we spent the live, the working live last week, yeah. comping new in box vintage toys. Could, so the hallways lined, and I'm I'm supposed to be listing them. Could, could you just quickly tell people about your vintage live if they want to come join it and what that's about? So Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern, yeah. I started going live. If I put on my my Borg bra and I've got the phone right on the front of me, so my hands are free. And we're working. I need to get one of those. Oh, you want to try it? It's at, it's at the front door. I'll show it to you. I don't have to hold the phone. And she reads the chat. And yeah. people are coming in and they're listening while they're listing. Right. Um, they're listening to learn stuff. They're listening to help me look up stuff. Right. And the knowledge that comes yeah. into the chat right. is just amazing. The, okay. These people, I've learned so much from, wow. from all my followers. It's wow. amazing. What else you got here, Chris? Uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, old skateboard. Okay. Coffee. All right. Uh, this is cool. Cross people, a lot of people may know this game. Crossbows and catapults. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and then we got a lot of Hot Wheels. Mostly die cast stuff. Okay. Old Matchbox. Or that one's Majorette. Okay. Um, oh, there's the Matchbox. Super Kings. I like the big Super Kings set things. Okay. Uh, like I said, some old Hot Wheels. Batman. We even got some a Tonka, an old Tonka Jeep plow. Oh, that's sweet. And then more over here, Micro Machine Super Van. Okay. Some more Matchbox. Lots of die cast stuff. Shout out to uh, Noel, Farm Girl Scavenger, yes. right? Yes. Who uh, hooked us up. Yes. And connected us. Yes. So, I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about I want to pick your brains. All right. So bad. I mean, I know you guys want to like find stuff, but oh, no. man, I'm gonna take advantage yeah, no. of having yeah. you know some experienced yeah. resellers. Okay, that's you great. Know, so we could barter knowledge for stuff. For maybe. sure. Hey, whatever you want to do, I'm I'm, uh, yeah. I'm I'm game. So we were just showing these items right here. These little ceramic animals. Uh, they're from a company Wade through uh, Red Rose Tea. Uh, that's how these were given out. There's all different sorts of animals. There's bears, there's giraffes, and, and other things. And we're talking about sometimes how you're looking things up to, to comp them. This is something I was talking about with Jan that really sells best as a lot. You know, unless someone is specifically really looking to replace like a damaged item, you know, they're not really looking to buy these things individually. So I wouldn't comp these individually. I comp them as a lot price. So, uh, that's different from something like these ornaments where you would want to check and see, you know, is this Barbie ornament selling for more than, you know, this ornament here, which you would think that it would, and it does, you know, so, um, you know, it just depends on the types of items that you have some, and you could sell these all as a lot together, but sometimes it's not worth looking up certain types of items just by the individual piece like that. So anyway, just a little tip. Yeah, we have a deal. <laughs> What's we the deal? The deal is four hundred and fifty dollars. All right, for all the toys in here. Which? What's your estimated value on this stuff, Chris? More than double. Um, about eight seventy, eight okay. seventy-five. I think was what we said, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. There's so many nooks and crannies to explore. Oh, you have back there <laughs> is a safe from 1820. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. It's 700 something pounds. We've been trying to get into it. Could you imagine you what it. must be in that? I don't know. Have you called like a lock picker? Or I've called a lock picker. They can't guarantee that they uh, wouldn't damage the safe. And the safe itself is worth about sure. $5,000. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Even more if I can find the key. Right. But yeah. who knows what the heck's the in there. The key might be in here somewhere. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that it came with my great grandparents. Oh. This is this... a six generation home. Oh wow. wow. So this home was originally occupied by my great great 
grandparents. Wow. She bought the house from her grandparents um, when she got out of college. Um, my family migrated from Germany, so there's a lot of German stuff. There's a lot of stuff in German that I can't read. Okay. Um, Do you know what year the house was built? 1880. But anyway, That's cool. these are all the comics. Well, not all oh, of them. Okay. But I'm all those piles down there. That box, those two piles, and okay. then there's another pile upstairs that's equivalent okay. to that. I pulled all the comic books out of that section, and mainly my goal was to go over with Jan and let her know what she had. And she does have a mixture of modern and vintage comic books, as you can see here. And also over here, there are some superhero comic books that she has, but not many. She does have uh, some titles that people will like if you have in bulk, like this Exo Man of War, and she has a bunch of the uh, Evangeline comics, for example. And so uh, basically uh, what I told her is to uh, try to sell these on uh, YouTube auction or to lot them up and to sell them on eBay. Uh, I'm personally not interested in picking these up, but only because I already have so many of these. I have tens of thousands of comic books, so I don't need any more of these. and I'm really just trying to help Jan figure out a way that um, she could sell these. Now, one thing I'm interested in here is this Dragon Quest game. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it does have pieces inside of it. Uh, it has been opened. It has been used, but there are some metal figures in here uh, that are neat. I'm not sure how complete it is, uh, but this is definitely something that's desirable. Uh, I would comp it in a current state at somewhere between 70 to 80 dollars if you just tried to sell it like this you could try to sell some of these figures and maybe you get some more out of it that way uh, this batman comic uh, is pretty cool it's a whitman variant you could see there it says whitman up top this comic book is probably about a 20 dollar comic book so that's a nice one that's the best one that i've pulled out so far uh, then this one just appeals to me because it is a uh, Hobbit great series. You know, it looks like it's in near mint condition. Then here we have uh, Superman and musical comedy. So this is a song book. Then we've got this pop-up animation Batman series. Uh, this is sealed. So that's good. I've seen this sell for around 20 bucks or so. Uh, so it's cool. Look, at, you pop it up and you get all this, uh, all these little figures that stand up inside. When I was scanning through here, one of the things that I saw was this uh, old 1975 German storybook. And the fact that it's vintage, that it's from another country, and that it's you know in really nice shape, the spine is intact, and it really has a cool image on front. Any storybook with a big giant that's bright and colorful and has a whole bunch of other you know, figures standing around and looking up kind of reminds you of Gulliver, for example. Uh, it's just really neat. So, uh, or, you know, the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk. People love stuff like this. There's probably someone who had this when they were younger and is looking to reconnect with it. And so I don't see any comps for it, but doesn't matter. I'm just going to go based off a of gut on this one. This is the farthest uh, room up top, which you could see right there out the window. Uh, there are some calendars here I'm interested in. Uh, don't pass up vintage calendars, even though the years have passed. People still like them for the art. This one doesn't have any comps on it, but because it's Mickey Mouse and we've got some cool images on the back, I'm going to try to pick this one up. We've also got this Best of Mickey and Company calendar. This is from 1998. Some cool images. On the back of this one no comps for it but again i'm just gonna pick this up then over here let's see casablanca no we've got another two mickey calendars these two are sealed actually so it's the same one so i'll just try to pick those up as well we need a Pooh, no but this pink panther one you know how much i love pink panther stuff this is from 1992 so no comps on it but again really cool images that someone might want to display snow white and the seven dwarves nah norman rockwell nah another one of these mickey calendars that makes four of them andy warhol nah 
Wizardology. I like wizard stuff, but this doesn't go for much. Fairy stuff. Disney stuff. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Sorry, ladies. I can't get Chris involved in this stuff or he's going to get in trouble. So I leave them behind. All right. Now, here's something I just pulled out from the middle because it just looked so big or maybe it was on the bottom. I don't remember. But look at the size of this. The Soviet arts poster, 1917 to 1987. Really cool book. Um, no U.S. comps on it. It had sold internationally recently but you could see here there's all these posters and what you could actually do I, i've actually done this before you could actually pull these posters out and just sell the posters yes they come from a book but you could literally just make money off of pulling these out and selling them one by one just gotta be careful how you trim them out i'm not sure what i'll do with this maybe i'll use that approach or not i, I gotta see i gotta look through these more but uh, definitely looks promising. I came across Wiley Coyote here. This is a nice vintage one right over here. Some days nothing seems to go right. So there's a lot of Wiley Coyote fans out there. Uh, let's see here if this has a year on it. Warner Brothers, 1958. Uh, wow, it does look pretty old. That's interesting. So back in the day, this had a $12 price tag on it. Somewhere right now is trying to list it for 40 bucks. That's with the shipping. So I'm going to try to pick this one up too. It's a cool piece. This is actually a nice stack of comic books that I was able to pull out of this box here. So I'll show you what we've got here. So I just finished up my negotiation and um, what we're going to do here is going to get everything besides the comic books. I know that sounds crazy because uh, <laughs> everyone's so used to me getting comic books, but really it comes down for me that I don't need these particular comic books. I ha Again, I have so many of them and um, you know, part of the visit too is to help Jan out and I think that for what she wants to get out of the comic books, it's really going to be better for her if she lists these on eBay, like dividing out all the romance books and, and selling them that way. Or again, you know, going on YouTube and putting some little lots together. So we talked about how to do that. And I think she's going to do really well with these. I went with all this stuff here and uh, the total amount that I paid for all this stuff is a hundred dollars. So I'm comfortable that that gives her a hundred bucks in, in cash. She's happy with it. I'm happy with it. I think that I could find a way to make this work for myself. And so uh, overall, I think it was a great day. And so uh, I want to thank uh, Jan for letting us here today again to thank Noel and uh, had a great time. And uh, yeah. I think Chris is definitely going to be back for sure for some more toys <laughs> for sure. So uh, you never know how these days are going to work out, right? When you uh, start off this way. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, Jan, if you want to say anything final before we head off. I today. just I super appreciate you guys coming <laughs> and letting me pick your brains on your knowledge and just, you know, working through the process. Dom went through this whole thing. He explained like comic books and, and everything about them and Chris with the toys and just a, a great knowledge session. Cool. And I was just so enthralled with what they were saying. I didn't do any video. So <laughs> plus you can contact us whenever you want to, because yes. you have our contact yes. information yep. as well. And I, and I guess the biggest message that I learned today is I need to learn to reach out to some of the other resellers in our yeah. communities yeah. Um, that have their niche. And when I've got that category, ask for their help, see if we can do a collab, yes. um, make a deal, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So, cause I can't find everybody on my channel that's going to be interested in everything that's here i'm going to have to seek out the people that are looking yeah is is yeah. what it really comes down to yeah for sure yeah yeah all right well thanks again everyone follow uh jan her youtube channel link's going to be down below antiques from karen and uh 
you know, me and Chris are going to go get something to eat. We'll probably say a final goodbye together uh, before we wrap up. Before we wrap up with Chris and Daisy, don't forget to check out Diana's eBay store at Little Bird's Perch. She's got all sorts of awesome items. The link to her store is in the description section and in the comment section. Check out the join button to learn about all the perks of primetime membership. So this is all Chris's stuff right here. <laughs> That's Chris's. And mine is tucked in this box here. But uh, that's hilarious. Oh, wait, here, make, make oh, sure everybody go. can see it well. Okay, there you go. That, that's all your stuff. Awesome. So, we're gonna get this in the crispy mobile. Hey, you're in your reindeer outfit. How are you? Hi there. Hi there. How's Santa? How's Santa? <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute.